Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Steven here. I just want to bring a quick update on the 5.5, and I got another 5.5 I'm going to show you here in a second. But um, for, it was my birthday last Friday, I think it was. So I had a party Saturday, and I got some fish tank supplies, and I got another small fish tank. So over here, I got these rocks, which I really like because it, it fills in that blank spot that was on that side of the tank. So. I mean, and I put some Java matches underneath some of the rocks, and hopefully it will just kind of grow, grow up, and then just kind of creep down this rock, which would be kind of cool. Um, I got this rock right here. My look fish for like a buck. It just gives something right there. Something. I mean, it was just like a black sand, so I wanted some color. And up here, I'm probably gonna go to uh, PetSmart and get. The, like the big Anubius in the tubes and tie them on some small rocks and just put one behind the rock and just coming out and maybe one in front of it and kind of bury it to where the rhizome still above the substrate and another one just so it's real thick and Anubius back there because I always like the way shrimp look when they're like on the Anubius leaves and then I bought this moss ball up there it's a, it's a fake one from uh, Fluval here let's see if I can uh, here it is right here uh, Fluval Moss Ball, it uh, traps phosphate. So I thought it was just another cool thing to maybe filter out my water a little bit, get some of the phosphate out of it. It was like $5.99 I think. So the only thing I don't like is it doesn't sink. Um, so I'll have to figure out some way to get it down. But for right now it's just helping my water. So that's this tank. Everything's going pretty good on it. I tested my water. I'll do another video on like the API freshwater testing kit because it really does come in handy. But I tested it with that and it seems like it's kind of a little bit towards the end of the nitrate cycle. I mean the uh, nitrogen cycle. So that's good news. <clears throat> and real quick, here's the other tank. And as you can see, this is kind of a good comparison. Over on this one right here is the inconsendent bulb. This one right here is the ZooMed 6500K uh, light. It's like 10 watts. It's fluorescent. And that right there is the difference between an inconsistent bulb and a fluorescent bulb. So it's really ugly. It's a big difference. So here is the new 5.5. Uh, I don't know. I know what fish I'm going to get in here, but I'm going to get multi shell dwellers. So I'm going to get some slate, kind of like the background here, and I know some people don't like the backgrounds, but for this tank I think it's going to look nice because I'm not going to have any plants that much. I'll try to find like similar looking slate, and I'm going to kind of like make a half moon kind of around this filter, and then I'm going to have like three to four shells on each side here, coming there and there for the multis. And I know it's kind of a small tank for multis, and that's what I was going to ask uh, you guys. I plan on either getting just one male and two females, because a male only gets to about one and a half to two inches, and uh, the females only get one inch. So, I mean, one inch, that's a, it's pretty small. I mean, it's probably like that, and there's enough swimming room in there for that. Or should I get, like, two females or three females or two males I mean I don't I don't know for sure so um, I'll probably eventually move them up to a 10 gallon later on in the future but for just right now I uh, just let them do what they got to do in here and just I'll, I'll make sure there's enough swimming room and most of the time in all the videos that I see they, they just hover around their uh, their uh, shells so I plan I'm gonna get the same light that's in this one. Geez, it looks blue. It's kinda weird. But I'm gonna get the same light that's in this one into this one. And as you can see this filter right here, this is uh let me turn on the light here. Uh it's that brand, I don't really know how to pronounce it, Aquion or something like that. Um uh, this this right here was on my dad's 16 gallon and it wasn't uh, it wasn't filtering his water enough so instead of going out and spending 
15, 16 bucks on a top then I decided to do some modifications to this one. So I'll show you some of the quick modifications here. I had to cut. There was a ledge right there. So I had to cut it to fit in here. Um, here's another one right here. These usually have the other filters for the, I forget what they're called, the Aquiana filters. And I modified a filter like that to fit in this. So pretty much I cut the bottom off of like these normal filters right here. Uh, let me just get it up here so you can see the difference. It's kind of hard doing with one hand. Sorry. As you can see, it's a lot shorter. So I cut the frame on the inside the short. And I'll be just this way so I can have all of the same filters. I don't have to buy like three different type of filters. I can just uh, buy the big boxes of the Tetra filters. And that way I can just trim up the filter to the size of this frame right here. I can just clip it on and that will be fine. And because it's kind of a short tank, this filter came down to probably about here. So probably another like one and a half, two inches. So what I did was I cut the filter intake off and I had another filter um, insert that would just would go on like the very tip of the filter intake and I was able to squish like just squeeze it on and it fit right up so really right there is where like the holes at and I just pushed that filter all the way up or like the intake thing all the way up so it's, it's a lot shorter it'll help keep out the sand and that way it's not in the sand it's shorter it's more compact so I mean it's saving me some money and it's gonna work fine for this tank so but this thing is pissing me off this thing keeps on coming off so I don't know what the deal is with that but so I'll bring an update when I get some slate some shells and just write in the comments for me guys what I how I should stock this just one male one female two females or one male and two females or three females I mean just just give me an idea because they they are small cichlids they only get to the male gets to two inches and the female gets to one inch so all right guys um i'll talk to you guys later i'll make an update video either when i get some shrimp for this tank or some more plants or when i get the hardscape done for this all right see you guys later bye